is the uh, continuation of the <coughs> the animal coop that I'm tr trying to do in here here it's been a little bit leveled and uh, ready sort of ready to be to build uh, my animal coop and here are some of uh, the lumber that I will use for their housing and here here are the markers that I put in I will make 16 by 32 uh, animal coop to house all the animals that I want chicken, duck, goat, pig, rabbit and uh, here it's gonna take a long time because I'm doing it by myself and as you can see everything is still messed up and uh, the branches from the trees that I'm cutting up I'm burning in that uh, uh, barn drum or barn barrel here in this marker this is 10 feet from my uh, my property so it's here I have to clear <laughs> a lot of trees cut and use uh, use them as I as I can and this is like about 350 feet or so to the road I have to clear all of this to get room so I can have enough room for whatever I wanted to put in here now the only thing that I have right now anyway these are the branches that I'm trying to cut for firewood the only thing that I have right now is this small barn 10 by 16 and uh, everything is scattered here so far because as I said I have no room to put them in even my small chicken uh, coop is like <laughs> very very small very messy because I am overwhelmed with, with what I need to do because I'm working by myself and I'm trying to get help and people here are I don't know they don't want to work I'm offering nine dollars and fifty cents an hour they said it's too much work anyway they are not the one that uh, will do it just help me for everything that I need to do and here here's a cages for the rabbit that I bought because uh, it's easier to buy $20 rabbit cage than make my own it's already made all I have to do is put a frame underneath so they have something to hold them and all I have to do is put a roof and I have a rabbit uh, cages these are the part that is a little thick of wood wooded area so from here this is still a lot 
a lot to do with it and those are big trees huh. about 10 feet that I have to clear all along to the road and there are so many things to do even my wood chips for my garden is still there well it's mulching right now last spring I got these wood chips from the electric company that clears the road for the leaning uh, branches and lucky me it's free now this is uh, how I use the wood chips see this is taro some people are telling me oh I have a nice uh, elephant ears no this is not elephant ears this is taro a nice Asian vegetable and what I put to the branches of the tree is make it as a border to my garden anyway this is lemongrass also an Asian an Asian uh, um, herb I'm putting them the trees as a border because this property is sloping and it's very hard to hold anything everything goes to the hollow and this is like um, a small wet creek that in winter time there's running water so everything goes in this side in this middle and unfortunately this is the middle of my property so everything goes in here goes to the woods again and going back about from where I'm standing is about 125 feet so what I'm doing is putting this uh, uh, logs that I cut and make them as a border so I don't have to buy anything to border it it might not look that pretty but uh, why should I buy those uh, uh, retaining wall I have the means to use something else so it's better to do this way as I keep on saying whatever works do it I have to do it so this is it for now and I hope you like this video keep on watching and if you like it thumbs up and please subscribe until next time